Hi, Virgo, I missed you guys. I'm taking a little break. I'm back and I'm better. But I am here today to give you a reading. I'm an intuitive reader and it's how card reader with a card fall on the floor. Doing a little shuffling. Let's see what came out in your pre shuffle. You're trying to make something right, Virg. Definitely trying to make something right. Oh, <laughs> maybe something between a lover, 2 2 on the recorder, and 2 card, 2 2 2 may mean something to you. And I think that this is someone that you might not be in communication with, Berg, with this Eight of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I feel like, Berg, you want to make something right. Oh, 1122, okay? Okay, those numbers can mean something to you, Berg. But I feel like you're trying to make something right with someone who you feel very connected with. Um, you feel some sort of soul connection with this person. Some level of peace that this person does give you, okay? And again, with this Eight of Wands in reverse, you're not talking to the bird. But they make you so happy. Look at this, Virgo. This is literally... Oh, my God. This person makes you, like, blush. This person brings out the kiddishness in you. See? And you are obsessed. <laughs> Very, trust me, I get it. I'm going through a little situation in my goddamn life too, okay? And you're obsessed with this person because they give you a level of happiness that you haven't been able to really achieve somewhere else. And this is, exactly, and this is the five of pentacles in the reverse. You do, you want to come out of this stagnancy with this person because you guys aren't talking. You guys aren't talking, Bird, and you don't like it. Seven of swords, seven of swords came out in the reverse, okay? This is, this is highest hopes, um but walking away from it okay walking away from it in the reverse seven of swords he leaves two swords he has five in his hand right so he's he's marking his territory to come back so i feel like hmm seven eight fifteen the devil okay so you guys are in a very toxic it feels toxic Greg. it feels toxic okay it feels on and off it, it feels very on and off <laughs> hey, you guys don't end it. You guys don't end it for shit. Okay, you guys don't end that connection for shit. Because this person makes you happy. You don't want to end it. Okay, you don't want to end it at all. You want something new with this person, Bird. You want new beginnings. You guys can have a great intimacy. Okay, that's another message that's popping up. And the hangman. Okay, overall energy. Two of cups. Okay. <laughs> oh, Bird, you really love this person. Okay, okay. So I'm getting that there's somebody, like I said, that you're not talking to, Virgo, but there's something that was revealed to you, okay? There's something that was made clear to you about something that's not ending. Like maybe it, maybe it's you guys. Maybe you know you guys will never let each other go. Wow. Look at the Four of Pentacles. In the upright, that's never letting it go. But this is you trying to let it go. This is you attempting to do that. So this is indeed a connection that you don't, that you... You love this person, Bird. You really love this person, but you don't feel like you don't necessarily feel like it's good for you anymore. Yeah. It's leaving you in your head with confusion, Bird. I feel like you're somebody who's who thrives on having clarity. You're somebody who's very black and white. There's no gray areas with you. So and with this person, it feels very gray area. So leave it in you leaving you in your head. And us Virgos, we don't we live in our head. So if you if you're gonna have a person put you in your fucking head. You're done because you, you did too much. You got me. Like the fact that you even opened up to this person, Virgo, I know that this, this was a hard sell to begin with. It just feels that way. But it's something that you don't know. Okay. It's something that you don't know. And this kind of fell out sideways. I do try to listen to spirit when how the card falls. It fell over the death card in the reverse and over the four of pentacles in the reverse. So it's, it's like, it's, it's something that you're not wanting to see, Virgo. I don't know if it's you not wanting this connection to end with this person or at least it has to transform. But with this death card in the reverse, Virgo, it's like you keep you're keeping it like this. I don't know how you're able to do that. But you do have it's an ace of wands right here. So new beginnings. But I think maybe okay. All right. All right. This is a message that I'm getting before I keep shuffling. Virgo, why buy the cow? Why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? And I know that you have high standards already, but for this person, I feel like you kind of um, loosened them a bit. And I'm not seeing why. I don't see no fucking king. You shouldn't loosen it for no one, but I'm just saying, Virg. I'm just saying what. I'm just reading the cards. Okay, but you're very obsessed with this person. And this person has options. But okay, what's this new beginning, Spirit? What's this new beginning? 
Okay, six of wands. I wanted to come out in the reverse, but it's grabbed in the upright. So there is something new coming about that is good. And okay, this is also my social media card, Virgo. So I don't know if you and this person are very much uh, active on social media. You might do something that involves speaking, people following you, um, people doing the things that you do, whether it's a lifestyle. I feel like I'm tapping into Virgos who are promoting like a lifestyle um, kind of brand on Instagram or you're super pretty fashionista do some sort of hair videos you do something virgo please tell me in the comments because i'm tapping into some virgo and you're very like you're very uh artsy i don't know i don't think you paint but you're artsy okay um okay so so there's something that's coming in of of, of positive nature but i don't i don't know if it's after okay what what's this hangman what's this hangman spirit then concise messages please spirit thank you why is this hang I'm gonna stick that okay five of swords in the reverse okay so you okay all right let me show you how this spell works so five of pentacles in the reverse right five of swords in the reverse you're on you're right now you're like you are like fuck this you're getting you're tired of this person's shit and i can see that you're tired and that's the that's the good news is that you finally got tired five five may mean something to you that's that that means change okay you got very tired of, of, of the stagnancy, of the stagnancy, not getting what you wanted, how you wanted. Because you consulted something with your spirit guides and that was something that they told you you was good on, you know? And it's like, why is this person not acting this way? And this person calls you a lot of sad tears, okay? Sad tears. And I, and I just, Virgo, I know you love this person. <laughs> okay, let's see what I got here. I don't know. Broke and stop fucking playing with me. So, yeah. You feel like this person was playing games with you, Ver. You, you might have known this person when they didn't have much. They were very indecisive. And I told you with the Seven of Cups, um, they're confused. A lot going on. Indecisive. They don't know. They could be broke going through some financial situations. But you feeling like this person really needs to stop playing with me. Like you're, I'm, feeling the, um, I'm feeling your aggression. Not completely negative, but I think that was necessary for you because it's like you have to be aggressive to um, to to get your point across sometimes because it's like you you came into it and approached it so softly. So for this for you to be in this in this kind of energy, presence and gifts. All right, well this came on the seven of swords, and I said that they leave something there. They leave something. So I don't know if this person left you again or leaves you presents, does little things around the house or um, makes you feel appreciated in small ways, but then leave and it just confuses the fuck out of you. Okay. That's something I'm getting. I see obsessed on the bottom of the card and I, on the bottom of the deck and you do have the devil card here. That's my devil card in this deck. Okay. Flawed. Okay. So this person does have flaws, Virg. And I have one nice stand on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if this was something that you... Um, you did with this person i was picking up on intimacy could have been a one-night stand or something like that but very at this person like they didn't they didn't even show up okay not even a page they didn't even show up bird okay let me pull some romance angels spirit clan precise messages i feel like with this bird you just need to focus on yourself because i don't like this and i and i normally let go of control issues stop trying to stop trying to control how this pans out stop trying to control how how this story is written just let it be what it is you need to focus on you virgo okay because i did a reading for you like a couple weeks ago and you're very much in your bag like getting to the money so i'm gonna need you to keep doing that and remember that a lot of times we find our mate or our mate finds us when we're knee deep in focusing on the things that we're supposed to be focusing on in our lives your focus is too scattered brother too scattered and i know it hurts you because you're not talking to him and you love him i can see that i really can see that wow so let's give your relationship a chance on and that that flew onto the eight of wands. Okay. So sometimes when I feel like this is coming now, I feel like, okay, in the bottom deck, that you deserve love. So this could be just a message to yourself. Give a relationship, give your relationship a chance with yourself. Give yourself a chance to heal. Give yourself a chance to feel good without somebody. Give yourself a chance to be in a, a, um, a situation that is not codependent. And that you're feeling so fucked up when this person decides that they don't want to fucking talk to you, bird. And then we get unrequited love here. Okay, so you're definitely not talking to this person. And I don't know for what reason. Let's get one more romance, Angel Bird. 
Oh, so many spirit. One more romance angel spirit. Oh, this already came out. Passion. <laughs> and it's like I put it right on top of this card. So, it, ooh, you guys had a very sexual connection. It might have been a one night stand. And they, they in and out. But they're probably going to try to come back in with this reconciliation, Berg. So just... I don't know. I don't like this person's energy. I really don't. I really don't, Berg. I really don't like this for you. I don't see no fucking king or emperor. I don't like it. Okay? Check back in tomorrow, Berg. Let's, we don't pick up on any of the energy. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your reading, Berg. Bye.